In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, two database functions, uh, dcount and dcounta. Um, they have non-database counterparts. They have a count function. They have a uh, count a function. And let's take a look at uh, the difference between the two. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the profit column here. Uh, this data is data that was selected from the help feature of the dsum function. So if you want to find out how to get this data, just go back and look at my video on uh, dsum and you'll get the same data that I have here. Okay, so I want to count how many trees, uh, how many um, cells in my profit column have a value in them and that's what the count function does. Uh, if you go to your home tab and go over here on the right side under the editing group under the auto sum button, uh, there I one of the options is count numbers. And uh, the function itself is called count. At one time this said count, but somewhere along the way Microsoft changed it to say count numbers, which is a more accurate description of what it does, but it's not the name of the function. So I'm going to click on it, and there it is, the count function, and it looks for the nearest numbers, and there they are. So it's going to count how many numbers I have there. It should give me six. Um, even if I include this, there's not a number in that cell, so it's still going to be six, but that's not really part of my data, so I'm just going to take the mouse and redrag it over the cells that I want. And I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to tell me that i got six uh, cells that have numbers in them that are in that range. And that will work on this column or this column or this column uh, because they have numbers in them, but it will not work. Let's double click on this. It will not work. Let's, I'm going to take the mouse. I'm just going to drag it over. Uh, my range here, I need to be careful that I don't actually uh, select one of the parentheses because they're not part of the range. And then I'm going to go back here, I'm going to select these. And those are not numbers. The count function only counts how many cells have numbers in them. So if I change that to column C and I hit enter, I get zero. Okay. Now, there is another version. There's the count A function, which is similar to the count function, but the count function only counts cells that have numbers in them. Count A counts cells that have anything in them, as long as the cell is not empty. So I'm going to just put the letter A in here, and it changes it to the count A function, and I'm going to hit enter. And it still tells me that there are six, uh, whereas just plain old count gave me zero. So that's the difference. Count A will count the number of non-empty cells, cells that have something in them, and count will only count the number of cells that have numbers in them. Okay. And they have counterparts under the database function. So uh, let's go here and let's uh, let's do count of apple trees. And I'm going to put the cursor there, and we're going to right align that so we don't wipe it out when we put our formula in here. And let's go to formulas. And there is no book here for database functions or here, so we have to go to the insert function button. And I'm going to do dcount and click on OK. And um, this works just like the other database functions do. I need to specify a database, which is this range right here. I need to specify a field, which is the fifth column of the database. So I put a 5 there, or I can type the word profit, or I can click on the word profit, and you see it shows up over here. And then i got to tell it what's the criteria for apple trees. Well, uh, I've got a bunch of criteria stuff here, but I'm just going to select keep it simple. I'm just going to select apple trees for now. And click on OK. And it tells me, if I double click on this, uh, it tells me that it will look at this data range, it will look in the profit column, and it will count if apple is in this column over here, the tree column, it will count how many numbers there are. Okay. Now, I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to change it to dcount A. And it should still give me the same number. Okay. And it does. Okay. Now, I'm going to edit this. And instead of G7 here, I'm going to tell it C7 instead. So I'm going to change this G to the letter C. And so that is going to look at the tree column. And I'm using the count A function. There's an A. So it should still give me the number 3. I'm going to hit Enter. And I still get the number 3. Okay. Now let's double click on this again. And I'm going to change D count A back to D count and now because I'm looking at um, the column under C7 here, the tree column, there are no numbers in there. I'm going to get the number 0. So I hit enter and I get the number 0. And um, in you can check out some of the other 
uh, D function videos I've got, but I'm not going to go through this again here. You can also name uh, your database range and you can name your criteria range if you want to. And if you have large sets of data, that makes your life a little bit easier, so you, you might want to check that out too. So uh, that's D count and D count A in Excel 2016.